Hey everyone, welcome to video 18-3a. In this video we're just going to be finding the basic volume of a cone. And so I'm on page 951 as you can see here. We're going to start with explain one and we're going to build off of the formula that we used in video 18-2 when we were talking about volume of a pyramid. And notice that in those pyramids it was one-third the area of the base. Well, this is the exact same thing we're going to be finding with the volume of a cone. It is one-third the area of the base, which happens to be, of course, a circle. So pi r squared is the big B, and times the height. And again, the height is going to always be found um, at a, a right angle. So again, it's like dr drilling a hole right through the apex down to the bottom of the cone. So let's look over at example one on the next page. It says, this figure represents a conical paper cup. How many fluid ounces of liquid can the cup hold? And we're going to round that to the nearest tenth. So, of course, we're going to be doing a conversion to ounces, but we're going to use the conversion factor that a cubic inch equals 0.554 fluid ounces. So let's first find the volume of the conical paper cup in terms of cubic inches. With the diagram that we have here, you guys, we have 2.2 uh, inches, notice, is being drawn to the center of the base of that cone. So that is going to represent my diameter. So my radius, first thing, is half of that, which is 1.1. Now we need to find the height of the cone. Remember, that goes from the apex all the way down to the base, or actually from the apex, which is at the bottom, up to the base in this case. So what we need to do is, um, if you think about pulling that right triangle off of the cone, we have the radius, which is 1.1, and we have the hypotenuse, which is 1.8, and what we need is the height. So we're just going to use Pythagorean theorem to do that. Remember when we use Pythagorean theorem that the hypotenuse 1.8 needs to be by itself in the equation squared here. So we have 1.1 1, one leg squared plus h squared, we'll just call it, equals 1.8, the hypotenuse, squared. Doing some math there, we get that h squared is 2.03, and when I take a square root, I get 1.42 inches for the height. So let's substitute in what we know. 1 third pi r squared h is the volume formula. So 1 third pi r we know is 1.1 squared, times h we just found is 1.42, and when we multiply all that out, including the pi on our calculators, we're going to get 1.80 cubic inches. Now we're going to convert that with the uh, ounce conversion factor, starting with 1.80 inches cubed. We're going to um, get that to be converted. We'll just rewrite that 1.80 inches cubed times we need the inches cubed in the numerator and denominator to go away, so times 0.554 fluid ounces, and we should get approximately one fluid ounce. Okay, in your your turn question, we have a frozen yogurt cone here um, that is uh, melting, and so we're trying to figure out whether the melted frozen yogurt is going to fit inside um, the uh, cone and how much frozen yogurt that they had um, before she started talking to her friend that made it all melt. So see what you can do there as far as the steps. Again, you're going to use Pythagorean theorem because this right here, remember, is representing your diameter, the 2.4. So go ahead and see what you can do with problems 2, 3, and 4 for tomorrow, and we'll see you then.